I'm gonna talk from the heart for a minute. In the wrestling business, no one wants to help anyone. Everyone's out for themselves, especially when you're a promoter. Other promoters don't want to help other, other promoters. It's a cutthroat business. And recently, a new wrestling promotion by the name of Fight Factory Wrestling, they approached me, uh, Dave did, and Dave says, Tommy, can I take you out one night for dinner and just pick your brain? Now, do you know how little I've heard that? I've never heard that. So when he did that, I respected that very much, so much that I told them that they can make their debut right here tonight in Totowa. So please welcome the owners of Fight Factory Wrestling, Dave, Tommy, and Chris. Let's hear it, Fight Factory Wrestling, guys. My main man, look, as he said, it's a cutthroat business. Nobody ever wants to ask for help. But I did, because guess what? Newsflash, breaking news. I've never done this before. I've never ran my own promotion, so I needed help as well. My main man, Chris Payne, who also, every day, is patrolling the streets of New York. Give it up, he is a New York police officer. And then, of course, there's Tommy. He's all right. I mean, <laughs> Tommy D. There you go. We got Tommy fans here. Listen, we want to thank Tommy Fierro for this awesome introduction, this jam-packed show. We have two showcase matches here tonight. And guess what? They're number one and number two. So the first two matches you see here tonight are the Fight Factory Wrestling's first ever matches. And I think we're gonna give you guys something to be very, very excited about. But moreover, should I tell them about the beach thing? Who here likes the Jersey Shore? Well, it's been a dream of mine for about 11 years. And this summer, July 16th, Live from Martell's Tiki Bar, on the beach. Wow. Wow, I'll do that again. On the beach. Fight Factory Wrestling presents The War on the Shore. Little side note, it's also unlimited free ride nights for the kiddies. So bring the kids, even though it's at a bar, it's kid friendly. We want to make this crowd as hot as humanly possible and not just from the sun. So please, go to Fight Factory Wrestling on Instagram, Facebook. Do we have TikTok? We have a TikTok. I think Shane did it. Shane, we have a TikTok. We have a TikTok. Go there, get some tickets, support the brand. But at the same time, continue to support ISPW and Tommy, because he's doing great things here. Tommy, do you have anything to say? No, he doesn't. In fact, here we go. <laughs> One last thing to promote that show. You can go to waronthesure.eventbrite.com, our headline star, he might call himself the indie god. Matt Cardona will be in the house. Shut up, Chernoff. Good Lord. We have the bad boy, Joey Janela. We got the Bayonne badass, Danny Moth. It's going to be a guaranteed banger, Chernoff. It's going to be a banger. And of course, 
In our first two matches, the second match, we will also have AEW's very own Lady Frost. So thank you guys so much for coming out tonight. Look at that, Fight Fact, you made a sign on the spot. Look at that, you're my man right there. <laughs> yeah, put, please put the full web address on there. Thank you very much. Guys, enjoy the show. Thank you guys for coming out. We are Fight Factory Wrestling. Let's kick this bad boy off, shall we? <laughs> I'm going to put the cue on. You, you guys are good. I'm going to ring announce our first match here tonight. So, ladies and gentlemen, we start this showcase with our first contest, and it is scheduled for one fall. But he's actually in there now because if you see on the bottom right of your screen, this is the very first showcase match of Fight Factory Wrestling, a brand new promotion that officially kicks off this July on the beach, mind you. And, and if you're wondering, yes, I will absolutely be there. But we're kicking things off for real right here tonight. This is the very first Fight Factory Wrestling match ever. That's what you get to watch right now. You're lucky I'm on the call. Dave Sturcher, I guess, will come join me at some point. But this is Chris Steeler. Chris Steeler, who is gonna lose in just a couple of moments to this next man coming out here. Oh, the suspense is killing me. Here we go. Wow, look at Victor Benjamin, look at the shape, look at the conditioning he's in. This man, all fight, no flight, that is Victor Benjamin, the savage gentleman. Savage, of course, but always a gentleman until he gets in the ring. Look at that athleticism, wow. Oh man, I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed by the talent on display here at ISPW via Fight Factory Wrestling. You know, I, I, I poke fun at Dave Sturcio every once in a while, but I gotta give him credit because he has booked an incredible, him and his team, Chris Payne, and well, I'm not gonna mention the other guy. Welcome, sir. Well. You're that. the boss for the night, so I guess I have to kiss up to you, right? It feels good to be the boss. I Here was just go. singing your praises with I the matches you that you booked. I bet you were, but listen, you want to talk about an absolute, you know what I'm going to say, oh, Chernoff, it's a banger. Dave Sturgeo, Josh Chernoff on the set oh. here for the first ever Fight Factory wrestling match between Chris Steeler and, of course, Victor Benjamin. As you can see, both guys look the part. They look like killers. Oh, wow, look at that. Unorthodox. Ooh, look at that, huh? MMA background. MMA background does have Victor Benjamin. MMA arsenal. background, MMA legend, if I may. Legend. Victor Benjamin. Well, I call him like I see him. Going around the ring here. Both guys very technically sound. Chris Dealer been a, in this business for over 20 years. Victor Benjamin just shy under a decade, so there is an experience gap, Josh. And there you go, look at that. Side headlock there applied by Chris Dealer, now a reversal. By Victor Benjamin. 
Yeah, there's, a, oh. yeah, there, there's an experience gap, sure. But uh, how's that working for him right now? How's that, how's that working for Steeler? Right to the there, does not work. Frog over, pass by there. Going for a nice little arm drag there. One more time for Steeler for good measure, and a one-legged drop kick turned into two. All of a sudden, picked the Benjamin in a bad way here. To start us off, here at White Factory Wrestling, courtesy of ISPW's Golden Ticket Rumble event. Big, big night. Ooh, look at this. Wow, look at this. Benjamin now. You're not gonna, yep, nope, not keeping that on him for long. Wow. That, look at it. That's right, he rolled himself right to the ropes. It's Victor called Benjamin, ring awareness. Look, I think Victor Benjamin might be in over his head here. It's called ring awareness. Ring awareness, Steeler now on top. I think Steeler wants to make a move here. This is why you paid a big buck to get in the front row, guys. Here we go. Whoa, Good. whoa, whoa. Smart. Pat Savino Smart. putting on the, get, get back in the ring. No, buddy. don't tell him get what to the, do. Get back in the don't ring. Don't tell him what to do. Unbelievable. Oh, heads up! Oh. Well, I guess that's it. First night as the boss, and you're already distracting Victor Benjamin. And that Good is job. how you deliver here on an opening contest. Steeler now sending Benjamin back in to try to look for the dub here in total. Just because you're allowed to assist in, in deciding who wrestles whom does not mean you're allowed to in, 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 in assist in who beats whom. I'm, I'm not doing anything of that nature. And oh, wait, oh, no! Savage gentleman there, Victor Benjamin, hanging Chris Steeler up to dry, and now the tide has turned very, hey. very quickly. What, did he trip? I think he tripped. Oh, look at that. Bicycle kick delivery, hit him with his heel. Uh, that, he's putting that heel right there. He is. It's like right in the liver, the kidney area, the, to the side there. Big An appendix. Right, like burst right here in total. We are live here, Fight Factory Wrestling Showcase, match number one of all time. Very Taking advantage this. of that five count. Look, he didn't even take the. He didn't even take the full four count. Wow! Wow! What, what a gentleman. Savage gentleman at that cover count. Sabino on it. Oh, wait a minute. Roll, 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 Whoa. roll up. Oh, no. Oh, oh, watch those fists of fury. Some short fists there, but the intensity. Like I said, a current MMA fighter, in, in addition to professional wrestling, Victor Benjamin could do it all. And, the, you know, that, that went into the decision making to put these two together. Tell us about that. Why Why did you decide I've known for this, this match? I've known Chris Steele for a very long time, over 20 years. So, what did he do to you that you decided to. <laughs> Oh, make that. him have to deal deal with this. Bro. And now he takes him off. Look at that. He's taking. He, he has an That's opportunity like a to pin him. That's a double arm bar. Right he's there. taking the opportunity to pin him, and instead he's, well, he's pulling him off the some pain. Steeler trying to get the I total of faithful. Both men in phenomenal ring shape here. Educated. Look at that judo throw. One, two. That's Steeler it. Just, just barely gets up out of that one. Now Steeler looking for a, a path to, to get out of harm's way. And now big time shoulder ram in the corner there. European uppercut on the money from the striker. Oh, Mercy kicks man. it off the back. You can hear that one in the town over. My goodness. Sizing him up now this time. Oh, no, nope, not there. gonna happen. Wait, push, push him off. off. Steeler going up and over. Nobody holding oh, the right. Oh, and a chop. And a right. Here comes Steeler. Get that ref in here. Steeler now finding the ropes. Oh my God. They found something. And now look at this, just wiping it off. This guy's an absolute savage. Absolute savage. Yes, he is. Now another kick to the hamstring. You want to talk about somebody, Josh, who knows how to pick apart an opponent. This is how to get it done. Victor and now Benjamin. look at this. Trying to take away, and, and something I could say about Chris Beer, one of the most educated feet in the game, one of the nicest super kicks that I've ever seen. And if you keep this up, that's going to be absolutely to no avail. Well, that's, you know, part of the training that goes into being an MMA star as well as a professional wrestler, oh. is knowing how to dissect your opponent ahead of time, right? Mm -hmm. 
You talk about the super kick. He knows that. He knows exactly. You think he didn't scout him, especially for this, the first oh, look at this. Fight Factory wrestling match? He's asking for it again. Steeler now. Ooh. Hey, oh, 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 that was a little too close to. I think he's hitting his hamstring. But now you just, yeah, you can't take too many of those from, a, from an actual trained fighter. I mean, it's just not a, not a smart move on Steeler's behalf. But no. now, right in the middle of the ring now, trying to possibly choke him out. He's almost oh, yes. going he's for grabbing a Come on, Sabino, get in there. What's he doing? Look at that, he was rubbing his knuckles right into it, like oh. a noogie is what I saw. Yeah, noogie, I got you. Noogie. And Keep now. It to yourself. Getting ready, Size sizing him up. him up, he's right. Victor Benjamin looking for the kill. Swing and a miss. That's right, he's got him. He's got him now if he choke. Well, he can out. choke, but somehow. Gets out of the way of the kick again. You want to talk about scouting your opponent. Steeler, no. Steeler, no. Big time, no. He's not sending him over. He's staying on his feet. Look at this. There's your oh. big clothesline. Down goes Benjamin. Down goes Benjamin again. Maybe Benjamin probably should have let himself leave the ring, maybe. Reverse atomic drop there by Steeler. Finding the ropes. Big kick to the face on the money. Steeler now. Trying to get back in this thing. What do you call a closed fist with your feet? Because that's what that was. Closed foot. I made that up. I, I probably, that's probably not right. That's why you embezzle the big oh. bucks here at Fight Factory Wrestling. <laughs> Embezzling already, huh? There we go, Steeler. You say you're stealing? To the second rope now. Big time! Blockbuster! Blockbuster! Here we go! Tune it up! Like I told you! Oh. Yeah, yeah, no, that looked great. Oh, that was no. impressive. Oh, God. That could be it. Swing and a miss. Got her! Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold This on. is Fight fine, Factory Wrestling fine. at its finest. Cover count. Whoa. Just a two count there. This is too important of a match for Victor Benjamin. Not letting even a move like that, even something to take an average man out, not going to happen. Steeler now getting Benjamin up. And now, wait a minute, looking for the, he's going to look for it. He's got him hooked. He's got him hooked. No, 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 no. He's come on. got him hooked. Slide there we go. This it. is perfect. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hey, wait, come on. The ref looking no! to make sure he's okay. That's a low blow. Referee, where? That's a low. Come on, Josh. No, 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 no. The referee got involved. You saying the referee low blown? No. Steeler? Wow. No. No. Oh, no. Wow. Oh, God. Oh, he's God. out. He's, he's out. Wait, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. Ring the bell, Steeler's out. What? Wow. Steeler's out. He just won by referee stoppage. When was the last time that you saw a match end in referee stoppage? Oh my God. When was the last? He's Steelers out on Green Street right now. Somebody, somebody get a hold. They got another referee out here trying to make a pump too. This is not the way we want to start this. But look at the look on his face. Are you kidding me right now? Well, you hey, you're back on the right horse with Victor Benjamin. I'm gonna tell you right now. The prize fighter indeed. And ladies and gentlemen, wow. that was your first case as they still tend to Steelers, Dave Sturcio, Josh Chernoff here on top of here. That was Fight Factory's very first match. Not the way I'd like to see it end. What? You saw the low blow, Josh. You saw the low blow. I did not see anything. The ref, you're saying the ref hit him with a low blow? I all Must this, have been but an I hope you guys enjoyed our first match here at Fight Factory Wrestling right here at oh. IFPW. Oh. Golden oh. ticket bumble, a lot more to come. It'll be for the IFPW Tri-State Championship on the line here. We watched Casey Navarro defeat four other men last week and have a nice day. And now he's going to try to do it one more again here at the Golden Ticket Rumble here at ISPW. Dave Sturge alongside Josh Shurnoff right now. And there is the current holder, Ray Kalitri. He is the current holder of the Golden Ticket from the last time they had this event. So he only has until May of 
apparently, according to the contract, he's only got till May to cash in, so he might want to think about doing that at some point in the next few months. But tonight, he has an opportunity to, to take down one of the premier belt collectors today, Casey Navarro. Casey Navarro has been uh, collecting belts just like his hero and mine and yours, Matt Cardona. Before him, I'm sorry, you call him my hero too? Oh, I'm sorry, your hero's, uh, what's his name? So yeah, we got uh, this guy out here wearing his finest fur. Great Dimitri, once again, trying to make some big, big waves here. He does this, he's able to defeat Casey Navarro. He's gonna have a lot of power. He's gonna have the Tri-State Championship of ISPW and the golden ticket to cash in whenever he feels fit. Oh, big one coming up here for Ray Quick. Last week, Case of Arlo was victorious in a match, and uh, honestly, the odds were all stacked against him. Sure. So the fact that he is still champion says a lot, but that bag's getting heavy for him. It's wearing him out. Tonight might be the night that he says goodbye to this championship. Well, he does have his hands full, Ray Khalifa. It's Poppy's house is what I'm seeing from that sign over there. Well, that's, that's what I've been told, so. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace towards me was not in vain. On the contrary, I worked harder than any of them. But it was not I, but the grace of God that is with me. There he is, folks. You decide whether or not he's blessed, right? He's blessed the championship. Quite feel to it, Josh. It really does. Casey Navarro has been an on that blue pair. We just recently booked Casey Navarro for WrestleCon 2024. He will be representing the Premier Wrestling app, which, by the way, if you're listening to this, get yourself involved. By the time this hits air, it will be launched and ready to rock. So be sure to look up iOS numbers only right now. We're working on those droids, those green bubble people oh. over the summer. I know they can't be trusted. They really can't. But we will have the Premier Wrestling app officially launched as you're watching this right now. And you're watching this, you could be watching this right now on the Premier Wrestling app. And if you, if, you know, you said that Casey Navarro is going to be joining us yeah. at WrestleCon for the Premier Wrestling app, but he is also going to be joining us this July for Fight Factory Wrestling, is he, is. he not? Yes, he is. He is. Yes, he is. He's an incredible athlete. And there's no doubts in my mind. Now look at this, Kalitri now. Look at this. With his hand on another man's championship. You just don't do that. Ah, look. Looking towards the future, you know? There you go. All right. There's no need for all this. Ray is in there just trying to get things started, trying to, you know. Oh yeah, he's trying to get things started. Anyway. Referee Pat Savino in control of this one. ISPW. ISPW Tri-State Championship on the line here. Very excited about this one. We did see Ray Kalitri at the press conference at Jersey Mike's the other night. Look at this. Who wants no part of it? Don't bother yourself. Don't bother yourself with these people. Do not bother yourself with the people of uh, Tutu or wherever we are. It's totally. Don't. Right. God bless you. Pat Savino not taking any prisoners here. He's got a five count already. Now, what makes Casey Navarro decide that he's the only one who's blessed, that he gets to decide who's blessed and who's not? I don't think he's making that decision. I just he just said this man's not blessed. I just don't think he thinks he's blessed. Well, first of all, he is blessed. Oh, boy. He just blessed him with a right slap. Oh, oh my no. God! Holy hell, did he clock him! Casey Navarro using some rage that I haven't seen before in this kid. Big time! Snap yeah, I haven't seen. Whoa, the speed! 
throw. Oh, 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 got caught. No. Drop kick got swatted away like a fly. Swing and a miss. Navarro. Whoa! Holy hell! Oh! Navarro is probably one of the most exciting guys right now on the Independence bar none. Oh, oh, block that one. Comes Casey Navarro coming in the fun way. Big drop kick on the money. Who's blessed? Casey Navarro is blessed right here. I mean, look, undoubtedly, this, this kid is top of his game right now. Absolutely. It's unbelievable how, how young he is in the business to be as talented as he is. But what he's doing right now, He's dancing, he's clapping with the crowd, and that is the thing that's going to end he's up. He's calling his shot game. is what he's doing. And now, whoops. Yep. Belucci gets out of dodge. Yeah, I wonder what would have happened if he hadn't done that whole dancing. I wonder what would have happened. Maybe he would have actually connected that move. Maybe it would be a hashtag and still at this point. But not, because he wants to mess around with these people. Pelletri knows right off the rip that he is absolutely outsped by Casey Navarro. Casey Navarro's quickness is, is just something that I just, I don't know, man. You can't bottle it up. It's just, it's God-given talent. Good. No, don't go after him. Let him count himself out. This is a game of cat and mouse. Pelletri now finding a little frustration here. As he should. He's here to wrestle a match, not play games. The mind games here by Casey Navarro. Interesting. Interesting strategy. And now this time, finally, he's going to run after him. Oh. oh, he came out from the left hand. Are you kidding me? He clocked him with a left through the. Oh, my goodness. Innovative offense by Navarro. Now all the way up, going to the top. No, 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 Here no, no, at the total of P-A-L-K-C. <laughs> Rock splash gets out of the way. Swing and a miss. Off the rope. Oh. Big back elbow. Oh, baby. And after all that, all he, all he gets for it is a fractured orbital socket. Two cap there, Casey Navarro kicking out. Navarro got caught right on the button. Look at this, truly blessed Ray Kalitri. No, you, you, all right, first what? of all, you can't, start, you can't start changing names no, he's in blessed. the middle of the match. He's, I saw him in the, he sneezed, and I said, God bless you, and that was it. And now that's he's it, blessed. he's officially blessed. Just well, you it came it. from me. What makes you him? I'm not him, I'm me, and that's why I have the ability to do that for him. Third base, all right. Anyway, back to the action. No, that's what? At least you got the reference. Big chop there. I always get the reference. <laughs> that's why you're the best color guy in the biz, Josh. And now, oh! Shot right there, midsection, a little low there. Oh. But now two big, big impactful blows. Crowd is ruthless right behind us. Oh! oh. Step up. Roundhouse Faked him out. Kick. He made it look like he was going to kick him in the stomach. Look at this, holding on to him here for a Northern Light with a release. Well, you talked about Don't. it before. You talked about it before, Josh. If you want, he could be and new hashtag. But he's sitting there gloating. Oh, well, he's just taking his time, you know. It's there's no rush. He's in bars on the ropes. See, there we go. Look at that. Pulls his hand away from the ropes. No, you're right though. He should have. Maybe, maybe he should have moved a little bit faster. Two count there, and just the two count. Look at that. Signaling over to you, Josh. I don't even know why. We're provoked him to call you a loser, but what? In any event, it's not even in my direction. Oh, yeah, absolutely, right in, your, right in your eyes. You made eye contact. With no. Reversal by Navarro. Oh! Right in the ear. Did we get hit in the ear, Josh? I have. Man, I was hoping you said no, but I have perfect opportunity. There. Wow! And a knee there. Look at yeah, that. but you, you forget that I was once in the ring, so I've been hit in the ear before. Uh, wait, you're going to discredit my entire career? We're broadcasting no, on the 10-year no, anniversary of, of my match with Axel. First of all, Are first you of all, congratulations, and I would never disparage all those three days. Okay? There's a dueling chant here. A lot of people may want to might want to put the camera on the crowd in a minute, but yeah, I think seriously. they're going to be they're going to be fisticuffs. It's 
Massey now all the way up. Has the balance. Go. Went for oh. a headbutt. Nobody home. Now he may have kept his head from hitting there, but if anything, he got the shoulder still. Look, jammed his knee as well. So both men down here. Pat Savino counting both individuals down. Pat Savino, I don't even know Savino well enough to pat him. Jason Navarro, there's that frustration you're saying. He's pat you know, punching the mat. Well, look, he's, he's been on an absolute tear. There's no mistake about it. And right now, he feels like there might be one of his oh. championships slipping away. So frustration, frustration is starting to build. He's got to keep his, his calm. Both men have to keep their calm. Ignore the crowd here. Don't Dueling pay any attention. Forearms are now doing shot. Oh, here we go. KC now trying to get the upper hand off the ropes. Falling him oh. up! Oh boy, that was a double whammy right there. Wow. And now, oh! oh! The speed of these guys this late into the match is incredible. Another back elbow. Oh. Here's a big clothesline by Navarro. Drop kick on the money. He is fired up, splash in the corner. Absolutely is. Right with the reversal. Oh, he's going for, go! Oh! All that to land a DDT, and he did it wisely right oh, in the middle of the ring. Bleeding in Savino. The mouth. Who's bleeding in the mouth? Uh, 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 Ray. kalichi has got some blood? Yes. KC's looking shocked right now that that did not put away Kalichi. Listen, man, make Kalichi's no mistake about it. has got blood in his mouth. Casey has blood all over his hair. The pink hair. And it's I don't know. Crowd's behind him still. Has to find that energy. Has to find that extra level, which we know Casey possesses. Here's a replay. Bang! Oh. On the money. That would finish off most, if we're being honest. So now, here comes the... Jesus pieces got intercepted. Are we going to see a brand new, now going up. That's it. Kalitri with Title Navarro's up. Coming up. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, no. Whoa. Oh. Just a two and a half, two and nine tenths count there. Begging this referee to learn to count to three. He has already. Actually, he is not. <laughs> no, he has The first match that Pat Savino was involved in tonight was a referee decision knockout blow, which we have just gotten word that Boy, Chris was Steeler he is lucky. okay. Chris Steeler's fine. He's being checked out by the medical professionals in the back. Uh, I've never seen, you know, for a long time. I haven't seen that in a long time. But back to the action here. Navarro trying to find his way back to his feet. Kalitri looking for a way to end all this and become the new Tri-State Champion here at ISPW's Golden Ticket Rumble. Oh, he got blocked. Oh, pushes him off with his feet. He's that leg strength, and now up. Gets over. Oh! oh! Big super kick there by Navarro. Now kicking out the feet. Oh! Wow, copyright infringement. Shades of his first hero. Now look at that. Colin Cardona. Navarro to the top. Looking to keep that hashtag and still. Big time. Rock oh, flash from the top wow. rope. That's got to do it. Navarro. One, two, no. Holy. Wow. Yeah, I, even I'm shocked. Navarro, the look on his face tells the story. What an incredible contest here. I know. I, you know, from our vantage point here, we saw the height that he got. Sometimes the camera can't even do it justice, no matter how good the shot is. Sometimes the camera can't do it justice, just how high in the air Casey Navarro was. I don't know how on earth. I mean, maybe if Navarro was carrying an extra 10 pounds, maybe that would have been it. I don't know, but Navarro now trying to find his way back to his feet, and he does. So now, he's looking for the Jesus pieces coming. No, again, it got cut off. Almost got him with that Reese's Pieces. Not, oh, stop. What? Up and over. Drop kick to the back. Navarro has an opening. Oh! 
That might be it. He's out. Whoa, he's out. Of Kalitri now. Oh, my God. Navarro, what are you doing, kid? Through the oh. bottom rope in front of the crowd. Back into the ring. Kalitri. No man's land here. Doesn't know where he is. Navarro sizing him up. Who's blessed? He missed oh, it again, that's him. three times. What the hell was that? The referee just got involved. What? What, what happened here? Are you kidding? That's how he wants to do it? All that, well, why would, why would Ray do that? What happened? Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match has a result. got Ray disqualified so that he could retain his championship. What was that about, Kalitri? What are we doing? What well, are Ray Kalitri, what, what are we doing? All, he didn't do anything. Okay. okay. Huh. You go with that hand like that, huh? So, first, you think you're an actual star. You got beat. On his arm. You wear my color, and then you know you can't beat me, so you hit the referee. Man, you, you really are okay. Hey, I'll talk to you, Ken. Oh, family show. I don't know if you know this, but my family knows I ain't no punk. Disqualified. No, no. But Ray Kalitri decided to just shove the ref on a whim. Like what? Why? Oh, you know why? Because the referee tried to low blow him like that other man. What is he watching? I have no idea what you're watching. It's like you're watching something different on the monitor than what's actually in the ring. You're clueless. You're absolutely what? clueless. You, you know saying something? You know who's not clueless? Rich Reed. Back to Rich Reed. Who? Watch the All right, Toto in New Jersey. Who is running for another championship match? This match is scheduled for one ball. It'll be for the ISPW Tag Team Championship. Oh, baby boy, here we go. <coughs> excuse me, excuse me, what? What are you talking about? Sit down. Nope. Shut off. Sit down. Water 
make no mistake about it, one of the greater tag teams on the independent scene. Also at one point, multi-company champion. And here tonight, they have their shot to take down the now. Prediction. Nah, not prediction. Fact. Truth. This is what's happening. What's happening, Josh? Right now. Sit down. First they are about to walk into this ring. Challengers for the very last time. Oh, because today, they walk out champions. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Guarantee they I, I can guarantee in whatever I want to guarantee. I guarantee it. Tonight, they walk out champions. Wow, look at them. Sent to slaughter. Sent to slaughter. Make no mistake about it. They can go. All right, they can go. Absolutely go. Danny Mom, Sean Dominic, and Messiah. I'm old school, Sean Dominic. They old badass. Here to take on the now reigning and defending tag team champions. That's up, Rich. Good. Good. No respect whatsoever for anybody other than themselves. Why should he? Why should they? And then you. Well, respect is a two-way street. Look at Donovan's gear. Paying homage, talk about respect, paying homage to the great Eddie Guerrero. And here come the tag champs. About to be called the Den. They are now, and never they are, was the reigning, defending tag team champions here at ISPW. Stone Cold Killer Wolf on Sean Donovan's face. Man, how those championships gonna look good on Santa Slaughter. Oh, man, are they gonna look good on Santa Slaughter? Spoken to by Danny Moth and Sean Donovan. Please. These guys are really the falls. Just degenerates. Why? Why? Because they're not pandering to the crowd? I don't ask anybody to pander to the crowd. Oh, no, you love Danny Moth. They're just love you not good Danny Moth any time he was slapping hands and kissing they're just babies. not good people. That's what I'm talking about. Look at this. Here we go. But now that he's out for himself and his, and his, his family, his partner. His family. Come on, stop. Well, we're all family. He's a family, Josh. We like you. And now here we go. Turning the tide here with Danny Mop. Both men picking a corner. And now Donovan oh. breaking that party up. That is teamwork right there. Working together. Listen, again, make no mistake about it. They can absolutely kill it. By the oh, side. and together, wow. my God. And now there's just one member of the when in the ring here. The when, it's the now. When. All right, a couple of close fists back and forth. Gets the referee's name too the game. Name in the there. game, here we go. Name of the right game, hand. close fists. Here fist. we go. Josh, close fists stopped yeah. being illegal in like 96. Really? It, really? Show me proof of that. I don't know, any wrestling match ever? Big time close line there, here we go. Guess I'm old school. I guess I like rules. I, I, old school's fine. It's just you gotta catch up with the times. You know what I'm saying? It's just, catch up, Josh. Be fine. Stick with me, kid. Anyway, back to the action. Rather here. not. Look at this. 
Sean Donovan now being worked over here. Nope. Sean Donovan bringing him right in exactly where he wants him. There you go. Reversal there. Would you stop rooting like a fanboy? You sound like a proud mom. Oh, come on, ref. That was. You started saying come on, ref, before he even started counting. No, I'm down. Because it was an illegal cross-body block. Illegal what? Illegal what? It was not. Reversal here. Oh, no. come on. What happened? Danny Moff oh. got a little overzealous trying to get into the ring, and then all of a sudden. Big right hand here. Now big time clothesline. Hey, listen, nobody throws a prettier clothesline than Sean Donovan, that's for sure. And now look, dissecting his opponent right in the middle of the ring, putting the boots to him. And now a back oh. Oh, nothing worse than that. He's going to drive home. Oh, there's worse than that. Somebody else. There's skin. worse than that, and he's about to feel it. What do you say? You're driving home with someone else's skin? Donovan! Oh! Hard buckle. That whole ring just I, moved. I think the ring just shifted about two inches. And now look at this. Sizing him up for Moff. Come on, ref. Get the five count. Get Donovan oh, out of here. Oh, all of a sudden. Get him out. Ref, you got to count them. Yeah, get that five count. Get him out of here. Make sure that fist is closed real tight, though. Oh. It puts up, maybe get a roll of pennies that he can hold on to as well for that punch. Great jab there by Bob, right-handed jab. Beautiful. And now, in the oh, oh my God. Wow. Ah, nobody chops harder than Danny Moff. Oh. And that is a factual. I've been on the receiving end of that. Not fun. Oh, God. I can only hope that happens to you again. But and look at this. Strut. Look at that. The strut. confidence here. Wow. Uh, uh, look. Wow. Oh, whoa. Come on now. What was that? Show. Just showing him his t shirt. That was chunk. Yeah, that it goes from the top all the way right down there. It's printed top to bottom. I bet. It's an expensive shirt, too. It's printed on the back, too. Tag back into Sean Donovan now. Sent to slaughter. Believe it or not, he's in complete control. Of this Why would I not? Why would I not believe it? Cover, beautiful. You tend to give the upper hand to the champions, but this is Two. very evenly Let him up, let him up. Let him up, he's kicking yep. out. No, he's just but trying just to make him tired. And make no mistake about it. And look, nobody home to tag. He's looking for his partner, nobody there. Well, not a good place to be in. He was there, but he's not now. Oh, man, you just, you, you did that, and that's. But he's not now. Yeah, uh, again. Listen to you. All right. Nice. Need the midsection. Oh, Wait, no, 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 no. Not there. Here we go. The... Oh, Whoa! stutter. No, 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 no. Stutter out of nowhere. Send Donovan reeling. Camera oh, guy, check out right the cameraman. The you know, I actually heard, where, where are we? New Jersey? There's actually, I think that uh, stunner is illegal in New Jersey. They're not illegal. Was it? Well, so now, you don't know that. He's got to get up here. Good. Oh, wait, come on, Moff, get out of the damn what? ring. He's got five seconds he's to do whatever he wants. He's not even a legal man. Get out One of here. One Mississippi. Oh, whoa, he's not even a legal man, ref. You can't let him get assaulted. And now Donovan with the what smarts. Happened? And look at Moff back in the ring. He's the not other the guy legal tripped. man. Do your job, ref. He's got five seconds. What? what? He came in unannounced. Well, on he's Perfolo. got five seconds to get out of the ring. This has been ten. One Mississippi. Who, who counts in Mississippi? <clears throat> Excuse me. Two. Mississippi. Oh, oh my there. Are you kidding God. me? Beautifully done, and he still has three Mississippis left. That's it. Two oh. count there, not done yet. Again, with the come on, guys. Uh, uh, what? Done? I didn't Can say anything. Call the match like a you know a normal tag team championship match at ISPW. So you fanboying out. Tag back in to the Bayonne badass Danny Mark, he comes. making his oh, way wow. slowly and methodically back into the ring. Stomp. Not trying to call for it to be over. Now, oh, look at that straight leg. Unprovoked. Like, why? Unprovoked. He's trying to get involved. He's not the legal man. Legal Moff. man has no right to this get This is a no man's land for Moff. Oh! oh no. Still looking in the wrong oh, direction no. for a, a tag here. We got to get a tag here for the That now. way, Moff. Moff, that way. Can you stop it? What? You, you're unbelievable. Thank you. We gotta get a tag here for the now. Trying to leave Totowa with the tag team championships here at ISPW. Dave Sturgeo, Josh Chernoff. Beautiful area. tag made. Here tag we go. In. But here Down we go. Oh, Locked the right hand there. Oh, oh, come on, on. Ref. Left-handed close. Let I him get his bearings. His right. Let him get his bearings here. His right shoulder might be out of his socket. He's hurting, but he's now he's porched up. Here we go. Up. 
Got that feeling back. Wow. Just like that, but look, I he's am, still favoring the shoulder. I can't Donovan believe this audience can count ten. He don't know where he is right now. Come on. Oh. Oh. Rass. Oh. Innovative. I like it. Illegal. Not illegal. Nearly. No. Oh. You're not Pop allowed to famous. do that many. No. Not that many kicks in a row. Yeah. Now you're making up rules to go long. No, no, oh, oh, baby. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, no. Couldn't have happened to Rass. a better guy. No. Oh. Shot there. Oh Another my shot. God, no, please. Oh, oh, there he goes to the outside. There goes Moff. Why? <laughs> Unbelievable. I gotta check on Moff. Make sure he's okay. Maybe you gotta check on Moff. You're on commentary, Josh. Where are you going? Where's Josh? Okay, I guess I'll call this one by myself. Where's Josh going? Whoa! Where's Josh? Chernoff is ringside. Why? Why is Chernoff ring? I'm calling this match by myself. This is, this is where I'm at. This is my life. So now Moff dumped outside now. What is Chernoff doing? What do we got going on here? Oh, a post air. Chernoff is, I don't know what the hell's going on here. Reversal. Wait a minute! Oh, wait a minute! What the hell was that? What the hell is Shirt off to? Are you kidding? No! What just happened? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Shirt off. You son of a gun. Are you kidding me? No! 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 Not like this! You gotta be kidding me! No! 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 No way! You gotta be kidding me! Turn off, you son of a bitch! You gotta be kidding! This is a joke. This is such a joke. Shut off that rat little slimy piece of garbage. Come on now, are you kidding me right now? You're a slime ball, Shut off. You gotta be kidding me, man.
celebrating like, like, what is happening here? Listen, I don't even know what to say. I know we're going to intermission. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't even know how to, I don't know. I, I'm at a last, I'm lost for words right now. Look at it, look at like a proud papa. What is this crap? Well, ladies and gentlemen, after that debacle, we're gonna take a little bit of a break. I'm all wet, massive jerk. We all knew that already. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to get to the bottom of this. Shirt off getting his way here. New tag team champs right here at ISPW. I'm Dave Sturcio. That weasel over there is Josh Chernoff. We'll find out exactly what his motives were. But we're going to go to intermission right now. We have a world championship match. And, of course, the 30-man rumble coming up in just a little bit. We'll be back, and I'm going to tell you I got to pay a million dollars to be here. That's right, a million dollars. And it's not enough because I got to look at people like you, like you, He says, Yeah! You know what I'm talking about? 
time for this. I don't have time for this. I am so upset right now. I looked at you, I thought I was, I thought I was coming to scout talent because I'm gonna become one of the world's greatest managers anyone has ever seen in professional wrestling. And I was gonna take one of you with me and turn you into a star, and now you're going to jail. No, you're all going to jail. I'm gonna arrest you. I'm gonna civil sue you. You're done, you're suing, I'm suing your family. Now, I gotta go. I gotta go, I'm so upset. Hollywood, no, I hope my plane crashes tomorrow. That's how much I didn't enjoy this. Get out of here! Go! Get it! Go. Sorry about that. I am so sorry. I need sanitizer for the mic. Sanitizer for the mic. All right, we're gonna get this action started back up in just a moment. Who is ready for another championship match? All right. Our next bout is scheduled for full one fall. It will be for the ISPW Heavyweight Championship. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Big, big, biggest fight deal here. Dave Sturgill and John Chernoff here from ISPW. Golden Ticket Rumble, oh, our semi-main event right now. Cam has earned himself a heavyweight championship opportunity against Crowbar. Crowbar coming off a very, very big win against Game <coughs> Cobb. Speaking of yeah, champions. Yeah, what the hell was that, Chernoff? What? What, what happened? You, what? You literally single-handedly got involved in that match and now we have new tag team champions what? because of you. you well, I know we have new tag team champions. You, you ruined the night. You ruined the night. What are you talking about? I went out there, Danny Moff fell down. So what I thought happened was maybe like a twisted ankle or uh, something, God forbid, and I went and I, I, and I checked on him. He was fine. And then I got to talk to him and this gentleman uh, wearing a CM Punk shirt in the front row and we were just talking about yeah, life yeah, yeah. and All things right. like that. Save it anyway. GKM here, back in action. Crowbar has been the reigning defending champion. We talk about, we talk about Danny Moff last week, just last week in Hackettstown, New Jersey at Have a Nice Day. Danny God. Moff was defeated by Crowbar. All right, thank you to refer to him as the future longest reigning ISPW Tag Team Champion, Danny Moff. Thank you very much. ISPW Championship on the line here. G Cam, listen, man, make no mistake about it. We saw him also victorious last week in Hackettstown. There's that a, harlot. In a street fight. And who did he defeat? None other than the Messiah Bowl School himself, John Donovan. So after going 0 for 2 last week, all of a sudden sent to slaughter, teamed up tonight, and got themselves a very, very big win. Well, last so week, you know, it was a warm up. They didn't think it was necessary to. You know, spent so much time in there, and they just kind of did what they did, and it was it. She got involved and cheated, and it was, you know, and Crowbar, he used guardrail, and he cheated, and everybody cheats, and that's fine, you know? So Danny Moff, now you saw what Danny Moff and Sean Donovan, what they really can do. Now you saw what they're really all about. Last week, it was just a warm-up for them. The ISPW Heavyweight Championship on the line tonight. 
very excited about this with DKM the rising star here at ISPW to the ring for the official announcements and introduction to this one. All right, Totoa, New Jersey. This match is scheduled for one ball. It will be for the ISPW Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first the challenger, Presley, from exit nine off of the New Jersey Turn. Exit. We've been watching him for two years, and now is his big opportunity to become the first Grand Slam champion of ISPW. Give it up for the Phoenix GKM. GKM. Introducing his opponent, being accompanied by the lovely Vanessa. He is the reigning, defending, highest PW heavyweight champion. The timeless one, Kuropa. Like, I'm going to give Crowbar a lot of credit, and not just because of his illustrious career, but the fact that he's still standing after the beating he took last, last week from Danny Moff, let alone defending a championship, is almost as heroic well, as Danny all, Moff winning a championship after, having, after exhausting himself with the beating that he gave Crowbar. First of all, Crowbar dished out just as much as he took last week, and he was the victor in that one for the heavyweight championship. I don't care what name Haggis. you call him. He was, he, the bottom line is... There's a new champion. There are new champions tonight. Yeah. It's sent to slaughter. How those belts feel? Oh God, they felt so good. All Thank right, you bro. for First asking. Of all, I My mean, God, it's unbelievable how you just blatantly admit to this crap. The fact anyway, that they here we go. Give me that honor. Big fight for you. Yeah, you're holding those championships. DKM and Crowbar squaring off here. ISPW Championship on the line. But again, let's point something out. We pointed out last week. We pointed out again this week. GKM. Has that shoulder wrapped up tight. Yeah, he does. He's been obviously a little hobbled with the shoulder. We'll see if Crowbar, the lengthy vet, takes advantage of this said injury. If he's smart, he will. Absolutely. I mean, look, he knows how to dissect his opponent just as good as anybody else, if not better. So we'll see what happens here. Test the right strength. There, look at that. And that's what we're saying. But look, the athleticism is keeping look at the GKM up and now to his back for, wow, two count right off the bat. Athleticism is going to help you a lot, but not when it comes to just strength, just pure strength. Grobar has the size, he has the strength, he has the knowledge. Let's call it how we see it, okay? That's exactly what I'm doing. No, but I'm, what I'm saying is, this is GKM's biggest match of his career right here tonight in Total. So you got to know that the nerves are probably up. The injury has obviously hampered him a little bit, but it's, it's not stopping him from competing in tonight's match. So you know he's going to give it 110. So we'll see how this one plays out as Crowbar now working on that said shoulder as we pretty much predicted that he would do. You don't have a career as timeless as Crowbar without learning things like when you see somebody has a wrapped up shoulder, take advantage of it. Right. Nobody told GKM he had to be in this match, right? He's in there. You know, you know, damn well GKM's not going to deny himself of this opportunity either. No, he's not. He not doesn't at have all. to be hundred percent. I mean, if he has an opportunity, to well, he's going to have to be hundred percent to defeat Crowbar. That's for sure. Danny Moff was hundred and ten percent, and would have beaten Crowbar if not for uh, Elvira or whatever her name is at ringside. Elvira, put some respect on her. Me right now? I can't. I'm not putting anything on her. Look at that. 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 that you know, I don't trust anybody with a folding fan. I told you that. What's she hiding with that mask? Her face. Why? Because she's won it in 20 states. Stop. Flim flam. Back to the action here, Crowbar. Now attacking that said shoulder. Now has GKM in the corner. Big chop there. Oof. 
Well, chops don't just sting. They don't just hurt. You know, they also lock up the pectoral muscle. Oh, if you already have whatever shoulder injury he has, you lock up the pec, you lock up the tricep, the bicep, that whole thing. You're, you're not even going to be able to do things like this. Look at this, and now big drop pick there by GKM. Most people can't do things like that at 100%. What the? What was that? That was a call. Big time splash in the corner. Here. It is the Phoenix, and he is rising here in total. Is that what a Phoenix sounds like? It sure does. I heard. I read it in a book. You read the sound in a book? Oh! I Googled it. Big time clothesline, two back-to-back -back clotheslines here. Finding the rope. Oh, come on! What Damn happened? it! What happened? Look at this. Oh, God, did he trip? You know, Ref, you, you just sure said something okay. about her. Ref, make sure, make sure that he's okay. What happened? Northern Lights with a bridge. Cover, nope, just a two count there. I'm sorry, I missed it. I must have missed now it. Now you what missed happened? it. Before she couldn't be here, now she's literally involved Fine by in me. Match. What did she do? I mean, this, watch the show back. I don't know what to tell you at this point. You clearly don't see things as they All I saw, GKM, he hit the ropes and collapsed. I would worry about his Achilles tendon. I would start to think about his knee. First of all, nothing's wrong with his knee or his Achilles. Well, he then why did he fall? On the outside. Tripped. Tripped. By her? Yes. Oh, watch the match. I would never do something like that. Look at this. Disposing. Oh, GKM. Eating that guardrail. Not the prettiest way. Crowbar has him exactly where he wants him. Right up on his shoulders. This could be anything. This could be a Death Valley driver. This could be. Oh, oh. hang him up to dry and watch those shoulders. And now, you, like you said, now, the was court. that the pretty way to eat it? Or? The First of all, it's the fun way. Oh. Not the pretty way. I don't know. And now, look at it. What is Crowbar doing here? Crowbar, was he trying to be Ray Kalitri here? Trying to get himself disqualified? He's searching for something. What's that? Oh my God! What is that? It's the bent guardrail from last guard week. From last week. It lives. Just taking it with him? He put it in the back of his truck. I don't know. But we saw that guardrail, and the reason it's bent like that is because of one Danny Moff. Yeah, when Danny Moff put him through it. They put each other through it multiple times, but I only saw one. Digress with that one, and now she can't try to fight back. Nobody wants to be on the receiving end of that guardrail. That's for sure. Oh my oh. God! Another big chop to the like heart. Crowbar like absorbs those. It, right? I mean, oh my goodness. Crowbar taking a lot of pain here. And now what? What is, is this a different side of Crowbar that we haven't seen before? Because I mean, we haven't on. seen. This is a former yeah, WWE what, hardcore champion. I'm well aware this of is, that. I'm talking about in his recent years of being such a respected and well-known professional wrestler. Have we seen him stoop to these levels to get, to get it done? Oh my God. Last week it became a no disqualification match. No, this you week see, not. I No, I understand what's happening. See, the ring crew got upset with him. So he promised them, I'm gonna fix your guardrail. I'm gonna bend it right back to where it was before and I'm gonna use GKM to do it. <laughs> Sometimes I, I think that you actually believe your own BS. I really do. And now it's, oh, basically oh. drop kick. To the outside. Yeah, that's a nice uppercut. Hey, I'm rooting for GKM. Yeah, I, I definitely can hear it in your voice. I am. I'm rooting for him. I want him to win. It'd be so much easier for Danny Moff to defeat him. Because he couldn't get oh done last God. week. And now look at this. Now GKM trying to suplex crowbar through and literally fix the guardrail oh, oh no. no oh no 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 oh. a little back action a little foot action got caught up on the chair there set up yeah that was bad in about seven different ways seriously You hear the crowd here saying, Phoenix, rise. I don't think this Phoenix is rising. Right He's now, staying down in his ash. Right now, it is not looking good for the challenger, GKM, now being 
hung up to dry. Listen, man, look at this. Crowbar. Is it, wait, all right. Crowbar riddle rolls. me this. Riddle me this. Savino's got a five count he's breaking, but yet before he gets suplexed through a, a guardrail, and that's okay. Well, make it make well, sense. Make well, it make sense. Well, first you have to look at the referee. The referee's blind, for starters. He's at least 77% legally blind. We know oh, that. no! Beautiful. Crowbar is making waste of GKM right now. Oh, boy. The referee's confused. He doesn't know what's going on. He lets closed fists happen. You've convinced him that those are illegal. Now. Oh, talk about illegal. Are you kidding me on that What one? happened? Leg drop right to the bread basket. Two count there, says referee Pat Savino, who's literally, look, he, he's a veteran himself in his own right, so I'm very surprised that he's letting certain things go and Where certain did he things serve? not go. What? Nice forearm. Right across the front. Look at that. Beautiful. That's how you pin somebody. GKM's trying. He's reaching for out for anything right now, Dave. Looking for a, a way to get back into this thing. And now, look at this, just, just sitting there and dissecting. I mean, now GKM trying to fight back just a little bit. The story is in both of their faces. Crowbar's expression hasn't changed at all. And I'm not talking about in the Anthony way. I'm talking about it hasn't, it hasn't changed at all because none of this bothers him. He feeds off of this. Oh, look at that. Here Crowbar we go. loved it. Crowbar trying to find a way. Cam, uh, oh, nope. Now he's, the Phoenix is poached up on top. Blocked there. Big right hand there, and Crowbar's even reeling on that one. Going for that. Tornado oh, DDT planted and that is what GKM has to do. He needed because that we talked one. about before, those chops, doesn't matter. Crowbar absorbs it. He loves it. He loves the pain. There's a part of him that just thrives on the pain. So what you need to do is actually knock him unconscious, knock him loopy, make it so he doesn't know where he is. That is the only way you're going to defeat Crowbar. Because you're not going to tap him out. You're not going to you're not going to make him say, "Oh God, this hurts too much," and throw him off his game. It's just going to make it better. So you got to kick him in the head. You got to drop him on his head. And now, both men to their feet. Big right Spun hand. Spun him around with that shot. Another one. These are bombs he's throwing. And he might be out on his feet right now. The cardio of this kid. GKM looking to make history here tonight in Totoa. Reversal. Oh! Oh, baby, he's feeling it now. The challenger. He's at, I mean, his athleticism is on another level. Crowbar in the corner now. He's apparently going through puberty right now. Big time crossbody found himself outside the ring. Big time step up insecurity to the back of the head. Crowbar is, uh, he's on Dream Street. KM a fly! Oh! To the front crossbody. That could be it. We almost had a new champion. Almost. Two and a half, two and nine tenths. Got close on that one. Oh, good shot there. Oh no, go! Oh! Sky high. Kick out there by GKM. No quitting this kid, not yet. Crowbar now kind of looking around, searching for answers, trying to find a way to put away GKM. Crowbar now has GKM in the corner. Big shoulder ram into the corner right out in front of us. Those are hitting. Oh. Uh -oh. Just bifurcating them through those uh, those turnbuckle pads. There. But look, look at oh. that. Are you seeing the athleticism of Crowbar? Timeless doesn't tell a story, man. He is unbelievable. Oh he my. is. Look at They're this. Right Crowbar, are you here. kidding me? Oh my, oh my God. God. What can't Crowbar do? Holy! Anyone can can take the nickname Timeless, but not everyone can be Timeless. That Two is count luck and, and look ring at awareness. that. Yep. 
give it up to GKM, knowing where he was in the ring. Not enough strength at that very moment to kick out with any shoulders, but has the wherewithal to know where he was in the ring. Ooh, straight right four on there. And now look at this, combos. A couple jabs, a couple crosses. Kick to the stomach, the midsection there. Crowbar, looking for something here. Side suplex. Oh. GKM, oh! GKM, nice! Boots soft in the second row! Oh, wow. oh, baby! Two count there. GKM now, look, you can see the look on his face now. A little bit of, I don't want to say desperation. Desperation but, is I don't the best say, word. No, that's the uh, word. I don't want to say desperation because he knows what it takes to take out Crowbar, and he's doing it right here. Now, GKM trying to search into the bag of tricks here. I was going to say, he might be taking too much time, but this is what brought him to the dance, Absolutely. so maybe. GKM now posts up. The Phoenix has risen all the way up. Brock oh. Lesnar, nobody home. And now if anybody knows how to take advantage of something like that, it's Crowbar. What is happening? Oh! oh. Whoa! Look Crowbar, Crowbar's face. He's beginning to look frustrated. The usually stoic look that we've seen for years now. You know, if you think about this, Crowbar last week against Danny Roth, obviously a slower competitor. GKM can run circles around Crowbar. So Crowbar could definitely be getting frustrated just based off the fact that he can't keep up with the speed. Oh, he can keep and up reversals with the speed. like this. Cutter! Oh. Both men down. What is it going to take? GKM is on Dream Street because he just rolled the wrong direction. Wow. Had he rolled the other direction, he would have had that cover. That's a good point. Look at this. Whoa. That man has nothing there. left in the tank, does GKM. He is trying everything he possibly can. He is fighting through adversity. He's fighting through injury, we can tell. He's not 100%. We know there's no way Crowbar's 100% after last week. And GKM after last week when he went through with Sean Donovan. Don't kid yourself. That's something about ISPW that is definitely different from a lot of independent professional wrestling companies across the, the nation. These guys have shows literally every weekend, if not every other weekend. So they definitely have the wear and tear on their bodies quicker than most. Not enough time to really build these, these, uh, these big high intensity matches because they just come fast and furious every week. Crowbar looking for a second title defense in seven days. Slips out of that one. Look at that. Crowbar right in the middle of the ring two count. Duck Thunder. Schoolboy. That could be it. Nope. But look at that. Look he at knew this. it wasn't going to be enough. Oh, nope. he, had him, he had him twisted up like a pretzel. For that a was second. an interesting. Oh. Kick with the stomach there. Whoa, power bomb! No, oh, no! Turn around! New champ! New champ! Oh what? my god! Oh my god! Holy hell! What? Oh my goodness, history here in Tonawa. I GKM outsmarted the timeless one. I don't think GKM can even believe what just happened. This is incredible. Absolutely incredible. We got a new the music is stopped. Crowbar now looks to Looks like he wants to maybe. What is that? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What the hell is going on here? No way! Oh! After this war, he's cashing in? At the Rumble itself! I said he had a couple months! Well, oh my god.
Oh my God. And that's why, that's why the match ended. 30 seconds. That's why the match ended the way it did earlier. He had his sights set on a different championship. Oh my God, and wait a minute. Here we go now, This we got a second championship match. Jake Hamilton, this is not happening. No! 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 Bobby's house and Bobby's no! about to no! play. No! Oh! No! You were right, Josh. He had a plan all along. He knew tonight was the night. He's picking his spot and he picked it here tonight. At the Golden Ticket Rumble, the same Rumble event that he won to get this opportunity. G Cam is out. He's fought a war with Crowbar. Go for him. GKM, Cutter! Oh. GKM's oh, wait, first wait, wait, title wait. defense happened 30 seconds after he won the damn thing. This is unfortunate, but I think he might get two wins in one night. No! I'm not entirely sure that he cashed that in, you know? He absolutely That's, cashed well, it in. Well, I mean, look. We have a second match, Josh. No, GKM, GKM attacked him, so we're not really sure. This might not this even This is count. a cash in if I ever saw one. And now going for another cutter. Oh, no! Oh, kick! Beautiful. Oh, no. No. Oh, my God. No! No! You gotta be kidding me! I had said that yes, he actually did catch Oh, give it. me a Just break, Sharnoff. Sure this well, this con man. Look at that. What a night for title changes. We have a new ISPW world champion. And what a shining star ISPW has at the very top right now. I cannot believe what we just witnessed here in Totowa. GKM was champion for I can't about believe three we're in minutes. Look at this. Unbelievable. I cannot. This is just. This is a travesty. It's an absolute travesty. GKM just went to war. Just went to war. With Crowbar. And all of a sudden, now, Mr. Opportunity over here just cashed in and is now the face of ISPW. You've got to be kidding me. You know, I, if I were you, I'd look into him for a uh, fight back in wrestling as well. I'm just saying. I don't want this guy. I don't want anything to do with what? this guy. He's a champion. GKM. I, I mean, I'm devastated for the kid. GKM was champion for about three minutes. Look, I'm, I mean, it's sad for him and everything, but this is the, this is the nature of it. There's no cheating involved. He won the Rumble last year. He had an opportunity. He took his opportunity. That's what you do. And you know who's watching this right now? The rest of the roster who's about to come out here momentarily and try to earn this same opportunity. Look at the, the, the mass. The, 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 the mass is behind him. He is an, I, I can't believe what we just watched here, man. Uh, look at this. See, that's that same kid trying to touch you. Since the Slaughter's Championship belts. He can the look on it. It's just utter disbelief. That poor kid, he just went through a war with Crowbar. Won the, the heavyweight championship here tonight. Congratulations. It's in the record books. Can't ever take it away from you. Come on, man. Congratulations, GKM. When you look at the ISPW, the face of ISPW is GKM. And tonight, GKM was absolutely screwed here. Man, the GKM era. One of my favorite eras of all time. Oh, oh what a great off. time it was. You gotta stop. You gotta, you gotta knock it off. Because look, we all know what just transpired here. We all know what just transpired here. And it's very unfortunate like for somebody like GKM. Because GKM now is outside the ring, looking at his family, looking at his friends. He was champion for three minutes. Look, I feel bad for the guy. He let his family down, he let his fans down. He's a disappointment to everybody who knows him. And Josh. Him. But th there was nothing illegal about what went on. Yeah, listen. You can't take it away from Ray Kalitri. He obviously cashes in at the most opportune time. He saw the war that GKM was just involved in with Crowbar. It's just unfortunate. It really is an unfortunate moment here oh, at ISPW. Well. 
but somebody's fortune is about to change because coming up next is the 30-man ISPW Golden Ticket Rumble, the same rumble in which Ray Kalitri got the dub not too long ago and just cashed in and basically just made his career over. And let's not forget a very heartfelt, very sincere congratulations to Danny Moff and oh, Sean Jesus. Donovan on becoming the ISPW Tag Team Champions tonight. Our lives will never be the same. Part one of our plan. Everything is Part working out. Plot. What? Yeah, I knew it. Everything is feeling, working out I perfectly. Feeling, listen, well, look. It's, shut your mouth. It's main event time. Somebody is going to walk out of here with the golden ticket. And I'm not talking about Willie Walker, ladies and gentlemen. I'm talking about for the ISPW Heavyweight Championship. Sorry, Willie, you got to go. Back to no. the ring for Rich Reed for the proper introductions. Let's enjoy this one. All right, Toronto, New Jersey. Make some noise if you are ready for the main event of the evening. This is our 30-man golden ticket rumble. Here are the rules. We will start with two competitors. Every 60 seconds, another competitor will come to the ring until all 30 wrestlers that drew for this match come to the ring. Our wrestler is eliminated by being thrown over the top rope and both of his feet touching the floor. The last man standing will be the winner and a holder of a golden ticket. unfortunate people in this match itself. Oh, come on, they're sitting here front rows trying to have fun. <laughs> oh, you said in the match. Yes, the match. I just heard of The participant is room number one here at the Golden Ticket Rumble. This one's gonna be good. I can feel a star after star, and now Rick Recon. You saw him last week. Is he here to win this, or is it purely Recon? I see what you did there. Rick Recon, obviously, no stranger to the success here at ISPW. Looking to go coast to coast here tonight. And he's confused what club he's in. This match on YouTube. What's that? The copyright 30. <laughs> That's why we gotta talk over the edge. Is there a job? And say something. Tell me something. Say something. Tell you a story. Well, the story is Rick Recon has got the unfortunate spot of drawing number one here in the Golden Ticket Rumble. Let's see who drew number two. We try to go coast to coast. I drew number one once. Yeah, and we're thrown out by number tremendous, two. Tremendous experience. Yeah, I bet. And now, for the wrestler who drew number two. I know this music. Oh. Here he comes. I know this music. Joey Ace, everybody. If anybody's got the cardio, Joey Ace is one of those guys at five stars. He thought he called himself. So let's see if he's got what it takes. Let him take my You know, I got to give credit to ISPW. There are a lot of indie promoters. 
can't even uh, can't even book 30 people, let alone have an entire knockdown drag drag out incredible matches all day long. Go. And now this. You know the rules, folks. Two feet over the top, got to touch the floor, and you are eliminated. And your dream has been crushed right here in Totowa. But let's see who gets this job done here tonight. These are my favorite. I, I got to say. Oh, I love a good rumble. A great rumble. I mean, these things. Yeah, I heard Hacksaw's back there. Yeah? A good dude, good friend. Yeah, he said he wants a rematch. Why would he need a rematch? I lost to him. <laughs> I know, but he had so much fun beating you. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, Recon might be out of here before things even get started. That's what you have to do. If you're Joey Ace. You got to make it quick. You're, you got to make it quick. You got to make it quick if you're either of these men. I agree. Get as much of a breather as you possibly can to stay as sharp as you possibly can. I agree. Also, what I'm going to say right now is you got to find moves. But well, there's a countdown here. Two, one, here we go. And now, contestant number three. Well, those 90 seconds went by pretty quickly. Eric Corbis, no stranger to independent wrestling, has trained many, has done his homework here. Oh! Oh! What happened? That's legal. Eric Corvus now working together. Oh, there we go, oh. by himself. Now what you have to do, see, I like what he's doing. Because what this guy's doing is, he's not overexerting himself. He did a couple of moves that took them down nice and quick and easy. Look at that, he's got that beautiful chain that I mean, he's listen, allowing them to feel. It's all legal here in the Golden Ticket Rumble. We have the briefcase right out in front of us, the same briefcase that was literally just cashed in on. Prior to this match, a new heavyweight champion, Ray Kalitri, catching in on GKM, unfortunately, right after his war with Crowbar. Hey, put some respect on his name. That's former ISPW world champion. There's the countdown once again. We're seven seconds away. They're not messing around here. Oh, look at this. Wow. Holy hell. That's a lot of weight. God, that's almost, that's almost half what I lift. Mike Law getting involved here. Watch out. That thing of barbells in there. You say your claw? Mike Law. Right. Look at the strength of this guy. That's got to wow. be 500 pounds. It says 1,000 pounds on each side times... So that's 6,000 pounds. My God. Wow, what a the strength. Unbelievable. Four men in the ring already. Four men in the ring already. Getting kind of crowded. Nobody hold. Oh, Rick Recon, all you have to do is step aside, son. We're back down in eight seconds. Here we go already. This is flying through fast and furious. Yeah, we don't need a minute. We don't need 90 seconds. We don't need Titan time. What we need is just get them out here. Get them out in the Non-stop. ring. Well, the next entry coming in. Mike Wall is trying to make himself back in. He's back in there, avoiding anything like that. And look at this. Dominic De Niro. Oh, how you going? Look at that chain. How do you... How do you feel about the fact that he, uh, you got dressed for the show tonight, and he went into your bag and took what you wore to the building? Now he's going to wrestle it. And now he's going to get himself some protein, I guess, beforehand. If he can unwrap that meat, he's going to shove it right in his mouth. Or he's offering it to the children. Oh, look at, look, Recon might be out of there. Joey Ace is on the outside, though. I'm not entirely sure. Denaro taking a sweet time over there with that meat stick. How you doing there, Denaro? Get it, you're Italian. He's got, he's got, listen, he, he's, he's wearing what my father used to wear to the gym. Those, those 
boxing boots. And it's comfortable. The swishy pants. Oh! I like to think of it as more of a silky warm up, if you will. Oh, here we go. He's got the shades on still. Oh! Well, Corbis got whoa, the stick. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get your hands off his meat. Moonshot! Oh, we know this guy! MSG! There's enough MSG in that meat. Maxwell, St. Giovanni. Whoa, whoa! Joey Ace hangs on. Whoa! What did he say about his meat stick? Oh my. Family show. Here comes the moonshot. Big time! Oh. The ring is absolutely getting crowded now. Oh, Eric Corvus cutting him off. I don't believe anyone has been eliminated. Not one elimination yet, nope. Still have number one and two in there. It's obviously Joey Ace and Rick Recon. You'll always be a number two to me. I appreciate that, Josh. De Niro, oh. oh! De Niro at some point lost his sunglasses. Now he's about to lose his entire head. We got seven seconds until the seventh person comes out. Seven already? Go. It's magic! You want to talk about somebody who's been around the block. Magic has entered the fray. Oh, there we go. He's been around the block so many times he knows the only parking spot that's free. <laughs> magic has entered the golden ticket rumble. Oh, right in the corner like a freight train. Look at like a guy like Magic. This is his opportunity. This is opportunity because he might not get a, a, a number one contenders match. You're right. You're so right. this is a chance for a lot of these guys. This is a chance. A guy like MJ, uh, 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 MSG over here. MSG, this guy, he's got what? A couple of years before he's going to be in line. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Josh, you in this? What? Josh's relatives? Uncle Alfred? What? Oh, it's TJ what? Marconi! What do you think I am? Do you think that was Hava Nagila? I did, I did. Oh for my a god. Sorry about that. Instead, maybe the biggest guy, the size of this ham hawk. Biggest guy in this entire thing, I would think. Look at over the top. Wow. Look at the size of this guy. Oh my goodness. Bingo. Oh. He's <laughs> tearing down Eric Corvus and Corvus just said, leave me alone. And he did. And now, De Niro. De Niro on Marconi. Marconi grabbed De Niro's meat stick. Size and strength of TJ Marconi. Oh! Somebody that Ray Calici wants nothing to do with. If Marconi can win this thing, it is Seven, bad. Oh boy. Six, oh! Five. He caught him right in the. Oh my. Got what it takes to take out TJ Marconi, dude. Public I don't know why not. One. I don't know, man. TJ Marconi's a. Whoa. He's got two R's in his last name. 
He can do anything he wants. Oh, yeah. Well, got one less brain cell as well. I think we have another elimination over here, if I'm not mistaken, right out in front of us. We got Eric Corvus. I'm pretty yeah, sure he he's went gone. Out. Some would say he was eliminated the moment he entered the ring. Possibly. Marconi now. Oh! Big back elbow there by TJ Marconi. Seven, six, Whoa! Joey Ace. With some velocity. Oh, wait a minute. Josh. Yes. It's Vargas! Oh, no. You want to talk about a guy? Very familiar with winning these kinds of things. Oh my Vargas oh. is it. No, no Marconi in, in this Jesus! Mike Law is outside the ring telling us I'm not getting in there. He's a smart man. Moonshot trying to take down Vargas, who's obviously, like we said, no stranger. To these rumbles and big opportunities. Oh boy. You can watch on the Premier Wrestling YouTube, you can see Vargas win a very similar style match. Yes. Oh my! Oh my god. Dominican drop right there. This is a Samoan drop. Shout out to. Oh, Maxwell St. Giovanni's gone. He's gone. That's some Owen drop. Oh, you want to talk about size and strength? Oh. Yeah. Talking about awful dances. It is the big man, Colton Charles. The size of these guys in this ring is anybody's game. Colton Charles, I would not be surprised to see this guy go the rest of the way. And look at that. You want to talk about trying to get the biggest dog out. Right after Vargas. Vargas had hit that Samoan drop earlier, I was gonna say. Just wanted to take an opportunity. Shout out and best wishes to Afa, the Wild Samoan. Yes. Had a successful surgery earlier Great. today. Great to hear. Pops, we're pulling for you. You're gonna kick out all this. Whoa! Mike Law. Mike Law decided to eliminated. get back into the ring. He probably shouldn't have, but now he's back out. The fun Charles, way, I believe, is what you say. It's not so much fun when you're going on the opposite way and getting kicked out of this match. But now, oh boy! Whoa, 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 whoa. Seven. Look at the whoa. size of these men. Look at this. Any of these three men can go the whole distance. Absolutely. Colton Charles. All right. Let's make sure we talk over this. Yeah, one. Talk over this. Yeah, oh, absolutely. It's all just get up and off all day. It's Kenny Bengal. And I introduced Kenny Bengal to, uh, to a couple of people who make uh, the original themes. Yes, absolutely. So that we don't get sued, but thank you. Kenny Bengal trying to leave. There we look go. At the, look at the, the Nevertheless, look at the group that this guy's seen. I'm just saying words. Look at this oh, one. He's mad. He ex well, that is the smartest man I've ever seen in my life. Wait a minute. Kenny He's Bengel eliminated him. He just gave up his spot. I mean, y'all think you're going to make him lose his mind? Up in here? Up in here? Not a chance. Oh my God! Look at these guys. Now here comes that funky no. dance again. Oh, I'm sorry. What was that? Funky. Funky. Is that what you said? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> you go to the replay on that one. I definitely said funky. <laughs> oh. Shot there, Rick there Rick. you go. Look at Rick Recon. Just take his jacket off, too. Look at this. And for whatever reason, Rich Reed wants to count down. <laughs> I can't get over this. Yeah, all right, let's talk a little bit all more. All right, who is this coming to the ring? Nobody needs skillet. No, not a not a person in the world. Nobody. Well, let's see what happens. I used to one. I used to cook on a skillet once upon a time. This is TJ oh. Epics, ladies and gentlemen. TJ Epics making his way to the ring. Man, I actually heard by 2025 they're gonna come out with this thing called stock music. Oh, it's great. Royalty free. Ah, uh, yes. 25, 26. One of them. I'm not sure when. All right, but, but now, it's gonna happen. Once here he is in the ring right now. Yeah, TJ Epics might have just bit off a little bit more than he can chew here. 
Oh, no. He goozled him. Look at this. Oh, boy. That's it. Oh, and a headbutt. Just a gentle headbutt. What? Oh, this is a terrible situation. Oh! He got out of the way. That was really the best outcome that could have happened. Epics with some smarts. Um, I'm pretty sure he tripped and fell, and that's all that happened, but yeah. We'll go with smarts. Oh, oh what a shot there. Oh, my God. Car with two R's just landed a right. And now Epics, good night. Uh, Epics with uh, no discs left between his vertebrae. Oh, who's that out? That's Chuck that Car. Whoa! Four. DJ Marconi just came out of nowhere. How is Joey Ace still in here and, and Recon? Hey, we know this guy. Oh, my God. You're right. He's the smallest one in the whole thing. El Magnifico. What is he thinking right now? Oh, no. Yeah, well, listen. Hey, thanks for coming. We really appreciate the effort. Oh, my God. Oh, he just kind of. Oh, he puffed himself he, up. He puffed himself up. Exactly right. And I, I just don't know if this is going to work. Uh, oh, whoa, what? Oh, Marconi shook. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Yeah, yep. Yeah, that's Vargas. That's yep. a whole lot of man. Yep. Nope. 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 TJ Epic's trying everything in his power to get back into this thing, but he was sent flying. Why on earth would you want to get back into this thing when this is what's happening? Look at this El Magnifico again using the speed. Going, oh, boy. Oh. Man, no, no, this is. No. No. That's, that's a it. hurricane. Eight, what? Seven, what? Six, Spear! Big time spear! Rich Reed wants to make sure everybody here knows how to count down from nine to zero. He said you can't get a lesson. Oh, the poor guy, come on. He's raising his hand. Somebody's got to call him eventually. There he is. Yes? Alex Raymond now. Oh, what a kick there. Who's that in the corner? Joey Ace? Joey Ace is over there slapping hands on uh, Colton oh, Charles. Oh, Colton's gone. He's been eliminated. Wow, teamwork's make the dream work over there. That's El Magnifico and Joey Ace did their work. The team we didn't know we needed because we didn't. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Marconi. Marconi's about, about to make waste of the. How'd he get out of it again? Oh, that size 26 wow. right in the face. Late lunch, early dinner. See, see, see your ass out of this one. Wow. Goodbye. Oh. Marconi with the how you did. Eight, seven, six, five. Oh, we're going to be number four. one. Not making any friends here in total. So let's see. Magnifico, who's... maybe go back to referee. <laughs> All right. That's Steve Off. We've noticed that, you know, listen, Steve Off has a very big opportunity. Here, coming in a little bit later into the mix here and trying to get himself the golden ticket inside this briefcase. Look at that hair. Yeah, I mean, what's his pre-match ritual? Sticking his finger in a socket? <laughs> Joey Ace still in there. Rick Recon still in there. Just keep in mind, number one and two of this entire thing. Big drop kick there. Joey Ace might not be. Oh, Vargas! Hello. Oh. Ow. Joey Ace hanging on. Oh, look at this now. Vargas coming from behind Steve off. Eight, seven, six, five. Three, two. The mood has changed. Oh, wow, this, wow, this guy's trying to get the best thing. I don't even want to talk because I want to get, I want to get his entrance cut out. <laughs> yes. Yeah, once upon a time, Kip Stevens was a good guy. He really was. He's actually in my first ever battle royal. And I tell you what, right now, he is he's evil. He's just a not a nice guy. Heads up. Right. 
Well, I tried, Marconi. I tried it. It's in the ring and now it's out of the ring. I mean, I missed. Now you can give it back. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> Try again. No, I'm good. Throw him out. Good. Throw him out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Kip Stevens, evil Kip. Hey, what he, what he lacks in personality, he doesn't make up for in talent. <laughs> oh, super kick. Down well, he that's goes. It. Goodbye. Recon registers another elimination. Seven, six, five. Look at these two bosses. Go. Oh. Who's coming out now? Oh. oh, you want to talk about size? Here comes her. This guy's easily 400 pounds. Between, between Marconi and Vargas and now Kerr. Kerr just pushed uh, Joey Ace back in the ring. I don't think we've seen I don't, Can a ring hold this much mass? Wait a minute, look at this. A little bad blood here, as you can see. Oh! Back elbow on the outside here. Curry Marconi, now keep in mind, TJ Marconi went through the middle ropes and now enters, re-enters the ring. Curry now into the ring, and here we go. Look at this. Size of this guy. Curry Marconi sounds like a Indian-Italian fusion restaurant. Yeah, sure. Why not? What wow. the hell was that? Shades, Shades of, of the New bam Jersey's bam. own. Yep. Wow. They, must have they both hit the ropes. That rope could have, the whole ring could have tilted over. Oh, oh, oh my oh, God. Can you size Who the hell is throwing these men in? I don't know. Who was Four. throwing these men I have no out? idea. Not going to happen. Vargas now getting back up into this. This has been an absolute slugfest. What is this now? Attention music. Oh, boy! Josh, the utter size in this ring. You can pick anybody right now, except for Evil Kim. Uh, I, would, I wouldn't pick him, he's the only one in the ring. Whoa, 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 oh whoa, whoa! Oh my god! Holy hell! Dark STG just eliminated oh my god. the three largest men in the match. That just happened. That absolutely just happened. I cannot believe my eyes. I can't believe Dark STG's eyes. Dark STG, are you kidding me? Now a choke, slam to Rick Recon. Joey A's trying to get involved. Why would you? I don't know. Down he goes. Evil Kip now. Oh my God! Please rip his head off. Spike him through the earth. Please. Oh there's, my There's one thing God. that Sturcho and I can agree on. Throw him wherever there isn't someone to go. Oh! Him. Beautiful. Look at this guy. We're very familiar with Dark SDG. Don't make no mistake about it. Eight, seven, six, five. Who's the next victim? Because right now, do you really want to get into this ring? Ah, Tony Cheney. Go oh, right after Evil Kip. Right. Oh, nice little scissor kick. He's pumped. Maybe not. About to be eliminated. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I appreciate the offense here, but. No way can this guy get rid no. of this DG. Now, Evil Kip getting involved. No way. Rick Recon now, Joey Ace, they're all trying to get rid of this monster. And I think they're going to be successful, Josh. Dark right, SCG. Four men. That's what it's going to take. Can you imagine if Dark SCG gets out of this three, predicament? Three men and Kip Stevens. Eight, seven, six, five. There was an age requirement here. Oh no, 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 no. What in the f What is that? Oh, uh, heads up. Oh. All right. That's fine. All right. 
Oh it? no! What is that? What the f What did I just see? What? What the hell? No! God what is no! That? You no! me! Yeah! No! No! I no! This is happening, John. Tommy D! Did Tommy D just direct Yusuf L into the ring? That's all this guy needs is a mouthpiece like Tommy D. Are you kidding me right now? Look at this. This little boy is trying to pick on Yusufer. Yusufer is making him choke himself. Oh my God, Kip! See you later, thanks for coming. What wow. is going on? Why what is, is this, this that's your crowd? buddy Tommy D? I don't know what the hell's going on here, but he, I've never seen him look better. So Tommy D can control Yusuf L. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I've always liked Tommy D. You always. I've liked Tommy always D. said good things about oh, him. Oh yeah. I don't want anybody getting confused at all about Yusuf L. Is because I respect all of them. I have no idea what to make of what we just witnessed as Yusuf L. was making his way into the ring in some sort of handshake gesture with. With Fight Factory's own Tommy D, I don't, I, I don't know, I don't know. Tommy what to make of it. D is standing here, arms crossed. He looks like he's Five, in the zone four, right now. Three, two, one. <laughs> Number twenty-two. Number twenty-two already. Tommy right now, D is standing. Still, say, I wish he wouldn't stand behind us. Three, no mistake about it. Go. Oh. About to gang going over the top rope if he keeps doing this. But look, 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 again, that was number 22, and in the ring right now is number one, Rick Recon, and of course, number two, Joey Ace. Guys are sticking around. Gang going's trying to choke out. Oh, that's a swing and a miss. I'm still kind of the at boy, a loss Tommy for it. D is still standing behind Tommy has arms crossed. Tommy hasn't moved. I don't know what the hell to make of this. He just choke out Joey Ace. Yeah! He just put him to sleep. Oh, guys, I'm getting word in my ear. It's five, not. That's not Tommy four. D. What? That apparently it's Reverend Thomas Raymond. What in the? I have no idea. It's not. It's not the guy that we used to know. I don't know. Oh my God! It's Anthony. Hey, Anthony's joined the party. A company guy, huh? You know, it's good, feels good to party. I love his music. I go, oh no! What happened? I don't know. He got sprayed by something. Anthony! He got dressed for this? Oh. Bro, I'll tell you right now, Yusuf L is on a tear. I'm going to tell you right now. This is the best we've seen him. That was about 10 seconds longer than I think anyone expected Anthony to last. And now, Yusuf are trying to make ways. Joey Ace and Dan Gones over there. So what did you say it was? There? Reverend Thomas. Thomas Raymond. I, I, Thomas that's Raymond. That's like in my ear. I don't know. I, Are you trying to tell me that this isn't Tommy D? I, it's Tommy D that we know, but I don't know what to make of this. I have Wait no a minute. Idea. All this time he's been a reverend? I have no idea, man. I'm, I'm, and you've been disrespecting him? I've gotten, I'm just getting word in my ear. I don't know what to tell Eight, you. Seven, Producers seven, telling me this stuff. I have six, no idea. Five. But again. Shocking, to say the least. Hey, why don't we do this oh. again, folks? Let's say it once again. We saw his partner earlier, yeah, Bulldog Pittman. Bulldog Pittman, wonderful guy, great guy. No, Little. no, there's no way you can even stop talking about Bulldog Pittman. I mean, not if you want to be able to keep this entrance on YouTube. I mean, listen. No, keep on talking. Absolutely. If, if I got to bring it to you, cowards, then it's gonna be quick. Oh, look, I don't. I think that's when you get Woo. notification. That, oh, we consider this to be a cover. Oh. That's what's going to happen oh, there. All right, I got it. All right, stop. Emoji. Oh, you, oh, yeah. you don't want anything to do with Yusuf Varel. Oh, oh, Yusuf Varel, not eliminated, went through the ropes. This is the first time Yusuf Varel now is on the receiving end. Bulldog Pittman is in this game. That was number 23. There's only seven more people left. But, of course, if you ask Rich Reed, who knows if he knows the math. Whoa, 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 uh, get going! 
Gangon wrapping his legs around the bottom rope. Smart, very smart to stay in this thing. What is, oh God, oh. oh my God. Did the Reverend teach him that? I think that's what he does to the Reverend. The Reverend likes it. Hey. Guys. I'm not going to judge. Guys. Eight, Eight, seven, seven, six. What do we call this read math? What? Yep. Let's see what happens here. The Bulldog Pittman's on his way. No. And now, number 25. Uh, that is not. He's helping his, he's helping his partner back. back in. Is he the. He's not the participant. No. Oh, goodbye anyway! No. Who? I what do you mean who? Oh, Justin Carino. What do you mean who? I didn't see it. The real Justin Carino. As opposed to the fake one. Well, you don't want to talk to the fake one. No. Justin Carino. Also going to be joining us down the shore. We haven't announced that yet, but I guess we're kind of doing that right now. Oh, there we go. Justin Carino is going to join us down the shore. <laughs> for all you know, it's it for... Uh, uh, for a 4th of July celebration. Tiki that Monday. Tiki Monday. Monday. We'll have a bunch of Tiki Ds. But now, back to the action. Justin Carino now, the only man on this feet. Technically, now Rick Recon's on his way back. Yusuf Farrell gets kicked right in his chest. Now, I got to tell you about Reverend Tommy D, or whatever the hell his name is. And he's standing there with his arms crossed, but he's not actually Eight, doing anything to help. Seven, so what? What? Seven, what is his point? Five. Why is he here? I don't know. We'll have to catch up with him later on. I'd rather not. Nah, Go out of my way to stay away from the Reverend Thomas. Joey Thomas. Hey, Joey Clean. Oh. Trying to sweep up the competition here. It's Joe Clean. Oh, you made a super kick by Kirby. Oh, oh, he had his. Knocked his hair his right off his clean head. There. Oh, no, Joe Clean just lasts as long as Anthony. Oh. On. Oh, look at this! Justin's gone! What? Joe Clean gets the credit there with the assist. And now Yusufer. Oh, no, wait a minute. He's hanging up. And there goes Joe. There you go! Him. And that's not good. Not good. The Reverend not very happy on that one. I don't know what to make of what we just witnessed here. I have a lot of questions. I have a lot of almost all I, of them revolve around Tommy D and I, the usually Reverend. I have answers, the, but I do not have an answer for this one. In the ring right now, Rick Recon, Joe Clean, Anthony Gangone, and of course Joey Ace. This has got to be what? Number twenty-seven. Number twenty-seven about to make his way. Oh, we've seen these guys before. Who oh, is it though? I'm taking a nap. Got callers. Who's gonna get in this? The flip of the coin? It's him. I'm uh, pretty sure he's the tails. <laughs> Let's have some fun here. Fist pumping your ass off. Talk about somebody that wants to be at the Jersey Shore. Maybe he can buy a ticket. Just kidding. He's very, very talented. I've seen him work. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just kidding, but you're not playing. <laughs> Wrestles with his chain on. I'd be so nervous. I don't want to lose that gold. Well, it's not real gold. Oh, well, that's what it's that that Oh. Joe Clean now trying to do some work. <laughs> just, you know, I just got in. He wants to be involved a little bit longer than Anthony. It's fair. Just give him, a, give him at least a little bit of time, a little opportunity. Right. We are down to, I guess, the last three. Eight, seven, Hit me with the six, number there, uh, five. Rich. Whoa! Hang on. Number 28. 28. There you go. Now he's so bad to give himself a hard time for counting. No, I just you know. Yeah. Wait a minute. Vicious Vicky? What? What the hell is going on here? Vicious Vicky lost her championship last week. So now she wants. Are you, what the hell? Hey. They didn't say this was men only. Oh my goodness. Making history here in Totowa. Vicious Vicky. Oh, 
Oh, basement drop kick there. Oh boy. Joey Ace. Now look, See you enter, later. You enter the Thanks match. Oh my God, what? Joey Ace! Holding on for dear life. Yeah, he's, he's holding on. He's holding on. Wow. Vicky not only trying to get into this match, but maybe have register herself elimination. Eight, seven, six. We got two left, five. folks. Just two left. What? What the hell? Holy hell! My cowboy's brother! I didn't know you had a cowboy. And I didn't know he had a brother. He does now. I want him to win everything. I want him to take it all. Take it home, Danny Morrison. Oh my goodness. This is great. I was not expecting to see. Formerly known as Danny Doring of ECW fame, Danny one of the, Morrison is back. One half of the, of the final ECW tag team champions. Along with the father of that tag team that we saw last week. <laughs> oh! Look at Danny and Vicky using uh, camaraderie here. Oh, oh there you go. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You gotta do what you gotta do. Listen, every man and woman for themselves here. Joe Clean trying to hold on for dear life. A little Windex will help that. His feet have not touched the ground. Oh, wait a minute. What? Oh, Vicky went over there to try to offer her services and she got denied. No. Josh is every night of his life. Wow. <laughs> uh, here we go. The lucky number 30 coming at you. What a surprise. There's your briefcase. You might as well just take it right now. Look at this mask. Wow. Put it down. Put it down, Josh. I'm just saying. Not yours. Beautiful. Now hold on to it. That guy there tried to take it. He's going to wear it. What is going on here? Darius Carter. I'm surprised. Look at this. I'm surprised. I don't think anybody was expecting this. All father. I can't believe this. Darius Carter is taking his time to get in there. Uh, well, you know, rightfully so. He's, he doesn't want to get in there too quick. But Darius no, Carter. Else coming. He was number 30. That's it. Danny Morrison kicking it like Nick Folk. Wow. <laughs> yeah, hey, oh, whoa, whoa, relax over there. <laughs> Darius Carter still waiting to enter this one. Oh my goodness. Maybe he's waiting for competition. Guys, let's make no mistake about it. Still, now there is 30 in. Well, technically we're waiting for Carter, but 30 men and women with Bishop Lincoln. But Rick Recon and Joey Ace, one and two, are still in this thing. They're trying to go coast to coast for the golden ticket to meet the champion whenever they feel like it. The champion, GK, oh, wait a minute. I'll oh, stop it. Oh, I, what? Don't I, poke fun at I that I got situation. confused. <laughs> Such a terrible I just, situation. I remembered earlier tonight when he won the championship and therefore assumed he was the champion. But then I remembered what happened to him. Carter still kind of calling his shot. And now maybe he's going to start making his way in. He still has his ring jacket on. Yeah, 
right, and that's, he's changing his mind. He's not, hey, he takes his own time. I mean, there's no rule. Of there he is, Kurt, no, he's not doing Unless the referees want to enforce to try to get him in there, but right now, this referee kind of, hasn't enforced a rule his entire oh, career. Oh, there it goes. Uh, that was Anthony Gangone eliminated by Morrison. Gangone indeed. We are down to seven. Seven competitors left, including Darius Carter, who has not made his way back in here yet. In there at all. Look at that he shot by Vicky. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa! Vicky with an almost elimination, almost. She wants, oh my God. Knocked the tooth out, I think. Oh my goodness. Heads up. Off the post. That's elimination. There goes Vicky eliminated by Darius Carter. Are you kidding? That's how he starts his journey. Excellent. I mean, look. I mean, what else should he do? He got into the ring. He picked a spot, and now he's part of the last five in here. We are down to five. Show clean would hop out, then we'll be down to our final four. Two of the OGs are still in this one. Number one and number two still in this. Rick Recon, Joey Ace. Danny Morrison, a surprise entry. Obviously, the biggest surprise here is Darius Carter being in this thing. At the Premier Wrestling Showcase, which is available on Premier Wrestling's YouTube and the Premier Wrestling app right now, Darius Carter had a hard-fought match for the NWA, uh, uh, which championship was that? One of the NWA championships. Just one of them. Who was, which was held by Colby Carino. Yes. They had a, a vicious match. I don't know, there's a lot of them. It's not, I mean, it's no AEW, but there's a lot of championships. <laughs> the North Independent. Oh, heads up, heads up, heads up, over there. Joey Ace has him, he's got that, got those feet scissored together there and he's got that's kind of a choke as well. Whatever it is, it's working. Rick Recon over there in the corner with Danny Morrison. Oh, oh man, look at that. Oh boy. Pulling on his leg there. Look at that. Joe Clean getting his breath here. <laughs> I get it. I see what he did there. What did he do? He said, we'll take out the trash. Yes, yeah, sir. He didn't say we'll mop it up. I mean, he's, a, he's clean. He's Joe Clean. Yeah, he's not Duke, Duke the Dumpster Jersey. Great guy. Oh, headbutt there by Joey Ace. Who is going to come down and win this thing and make themselves so they can call their own shot? And oh, Recon! No. Feet did not touch. Recon's still in here. Joe Clean putting the. Joe Clean has been in here a lot longer than I anticipated him being in. And he was almost eliminated immediately. No, and he's showing a mean streak. I know he's not a fan of streaks. Oh! Darius Carter taking his time over there. Methodical. Danny Morrison now trying to call his shot as well. I'm not sure that's a place to be for it. Oh, wait a minute, like I just said. Oh my God, look at this. Danny Morrison about to end up like the Cowboys. Hey, oh, yes. Defeated, embarrassed, that's what I was going with. What's wrong, you all right? Face turned red. Yeah. Look at that big scoop oh. slam by Carter. Oh, wow, you're not kidding. Look at this. He's just methodical in his approach to this match. Every move, there's no wasted movement with Darius Carter. Ooh. Oh, look at that European uppercut. Darius Carter going. Darius Carter, look at that. That's right. Not sure if he should be doing that. Look at the hand. Talk about dissecting your opponent. He just punched his hand. Well. You're down to five still. Ooh. Dan Darius Carter's in this thing. It's been a long time since I've seen Darius Carter. Looks great. Very successful on the independent scene, obviously. Big, big resume. Oh! Oh! Yeah, but this isn't 
this isn't just any independent. This is ISPW. Yeah. Independent superstars of pro wrestling. You see it right there on the sign there, the ISPW Arena. And that's why he's here. This is an opportunity for him to come in here and leapfrog all the way to the main event. Leapfrog to be in the rightful face of ISPW, something that Darius Carter deserves. Something that these people don't deserve, but would be lucky enough and fortunate enough to get. Big scoop slam again. Oh! Oh, wow. Wow. Darius Carter trying to be the one that to take this one. Let's we'll see if it happens. Oh, but he's caught by the first man. We're down to the final five, and one and two, as you mentioned before, are still in this. And they're working together to eliminate Carter. Can they do it? Little help from Joe Clean. Here comes Danny Morrison. Nope, oh, Carter's hit. No, that one foot went over the ropes and went back in. This would not even be an elimination. This would not even be an elimination. What rule book are you? What? That foot is in. It's over the top rope and it's back in. You ever been in a battle royal before? I've won one of these, have you? I was eliminated by Colt Cabana, thank you very much. Mm, something to be proud of. Well, I didn't want to, you know, embarrass him in front of his fans, so I allowed myself to be eliminated. I did that with you, that's too. <laughs> Keep that like that. Anyway, still here with five. And my name's Josh. Oh. Look at it. Now, wait, whoa, 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 Joe Clean. See you later. And that might do yeah, that it might for the clean it. one. He's fighting. He's fighting more than Joe Clean's ever fought in his entire life. Look at Carter trying to push him out. He's got one leg left. Joey Ace getting out of dodge now. Both Recon and Ace get How some is Joe Clean still in this? I don't know, but man, oh, man. He's making a big impression here tonight. Got two more minutes in here. He's going to feel the need to get wrestling boots. Joey Ace, Rick Recon, both one and two, both down right now. Now look at Carter. What's he got in store here? Oh! oh took out the, the... Whoa. That is it. That was a straight shot to the ACL or the meniscus. That might be it. I don't think... I don't think Joe Clean's walking out of here. Show a little bit of respect to Darius Carter. He deserves it. A chant of Urkel has broken out here in That Tottenham. is awful. That is accurate. Oh, I'm sorry. Why? Why? Because of his intelligence, his superior intelligence? He turns with Steve Urkel intelligent. I, did you not watch? <laughs> oh. Family Matters? The man invented his machine to duplicate himself. Stefan. To turn himself into Stefan Urkel. And you're gonna ask, when was he ever intelligent? He's a genius, just like Darius Carter. Using every piece Don't of Don't you get ring. me started on TGIF, it's Friday night, and I'm feeling all right. I'll tell you all about it. Oh, no! Carter's gone! Oh, no. Down to four, the final four here in March. We're not talking about basketball. Oh, boy. One of these four men are gonna be the new golden ticket. Oh, what? What? What's he want? Hey, I guess he wants to see who who the competition's gonna be. What is happening here? Ray Khalid's competition has out overstayed his welcome. Whoa, 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 whoa. There goes one and two! It's down to two! Holy hell, no. Danny Morrison. Oh, no. Joe Clean. There's not a chance. No in it. way. No. What? The straps are down. Morrison means business. There's no way. There is, this is not, this is not possible. It's going to be, oh, whoa, 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 Danny Morrison. Whoa, put on the brakes there. One of the last 
ECW Tag Team Champions, and now he is going to be No, 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 Joe Clean! No, wait! No, wait! No, wait! That's what? Unbelievable turn of events. You gotta be, I cannot believe what we just witnessed here. Joe Clean has done it. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a lot of fun here. Here in Totowa, at the Totowa PAL. We've seen a lot of cool things tonight. New heavyweight champion, new tag team champion. Next, someone in Totowa stole the briefcase. Oh, yeah, here it is, here it comes. I don't believe what we witnessed here. Make this official. This is official. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Golden Ticket Rumble, Joe Clee. Holy hell! How? What? How? I mean, uh, how? And you know how he did it, Josh? He did it clean oh, here tonight. For Dave Sturgio, Josh Chernoff, here at ISPW, thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. Good night, everybody.